Juliet. Go ahead. Roger, Mike Echo Juliet. Uh, what's the name there, please? Mike Echo Juliet. Uh, what's the name there, please? Good afternoon. The name is Jeff. Juliet Echo Fox Fox. Roger, Jeff, and where about are you, sir? Roger, Jeff, and where about are you, sir? I am located in Hunter's... Sorry, Jeff, uh, just uh, Milford to PA just went out. Hang on just a minute. Let me uh, uh, bring that back up. Uh, Milford uh, has uh, all different kinds of conditions and circumstances when you use their SDR. And one of them is uh, they call it inactivity. And that is if you don't do anything uh, over like a half hour, then they, they uh, kick you off because of, uh, you know, lack of attention and what I do uh, you know I just bring it up and uh, use it as a monitor they don't have to do anything and they think I should so they don't they uh, ding me for that and then if I'm if I'm on there too long they uh, ding me for being there too long so I don't know uh, Jeff uh, come back with your location again please sir Roger, Jeff, uh, copy uh, North Carolina. And what radio are you running today, sir? All righty. Uh, why don't you give me about 10, 15 seconds and tell me about your antenna system so I can look around and see if I can find a better path for us. Yes, sir. Well, I'm I'm still on uh, Milford. I went around, and uh, my best copy is on uh, the Milford PASDR. Um, so, uh, gosh, uh, we could uh, give a little uh, a fatter signal there, I think, uh, Jeff, if you would be interested. Roger, Jeff. Well, you're running the 7300, so the first step in the setup for the 7300 is uh, get that uh, compressor on. You uh, engage your compressor at a 3. It's a token amount, but it's uh, just exactly what you need there. So uh, activate your compressor and put it on a 3. Roger. Uh, Jeff, uh, I don't copy him at all. You're you're uh, you're in the clear, sir. Can you? Uh, hopefully, you can copy me. Yeah, Roger, Jeff. I can copy him on my uh, local. Uh, Antenna. You know, QRMers are, are just uh, a breed uh, amongst themselves. Uh, I see that uh, we have one chosen to join us again today. And I can just see him hiding out in his little room, acting out his little secret fantasy. His uncontrollable desire to be in control. But uh, I know that he knows QRMing is a negative reaction to a past life experience. And now QRMing has become a habit because it hasn't cost him anything yet. But his luck will run out. He will be found out and everyone will know he's not uh, the nice guy everybody thought he was. He is the QRMer. QRMer, hear my words. Your day of reckoning is near. Your life will be ruined when you ultimately have to pay your due to society. But my brother, you have a chance now to walk away from this dangerous, almost uncontrollable urge to control and disrupt.
You have the power to help yourself by recognizing this inward hurt manifesting in an outward attempt to seek relief through the satisfaction of hurting others. You must realize, my brother, what's been done in your life is done. You have to rise above the past and seek control of your future. <laughs> rise up and start a new you, a better you, a positive you, through God's help. Amen, brother. Now, Jeff, where were we, sir? KM4MEJ, KC9VKV. Roger, Jeff. Well, continuing our setup for the 7300, uh, engage your compressor. I'll give you some notes, and you can uh, do them at your leisure. Perhaps that might be easier, unless you know your 7300 pretty well. If, uh, in case you do know the 7300 pretty well, I'll just give you the uh, information here. First off, engage your compressor at S3. It's a token amount, but it does exactly what it needs to be. So, compressor on and add a 3. Then, move to your ALC meter with mic gain in hand and adjust your ALC by speaking naturally into your microphone and adjust your mic gain control until your ALC meter is reading mid-scale to two-thirds. So you're speaking just naturally, normally. You're not saying, hey, you got to set a level or, uh, you know, t whistle or any of that. You're just speaking naturally into your microphone and then adjusting your, uh, your mic gain control until your ALC is reading mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger. is on three, and the mic gain to ALC is going about, oh, I want to say almost three-quarters. Go ahead. Yes, sir. That sounds that sounds perfect. Uh, and uh, tell me something about the 7300 that you really enjoy. Oh my goodness, I really love this radio. And by the way, I just switched to my 80 meter loop. Not this. Please let me know. I will correct it. But right now, I am on my 80 meter loop. But I really like the, uh, the waterfall display. Roger, Roger. Well, it sounds good. Now, I haven't uh, really, uh, you know, thought about uh, doing the uh, EQ part of it. Uh, are you running, what microphone are you running, sir? I am running the stock handheld microphone that came with the radio originally. Go ahead. Alrighty. Uh, now, you have to work that microphone uh, to the side of your lips. Pull that microphone to the side of your lips and talk across it. Do not talk directly into that hand mic. Uh, it's a great mic, but you have to know how to to, uh, to utilize it. And that is pull it to the side of your mouth and just work across it. And that will eliminate most of the uh, mouth noises. Roger. Roger, Roger. Now, do you know where your tone uh, adjustments are for your equalization, transmit equalization? Yes, I sure do. I can get to them just in a second. Go ahead. All right, go ahead and find those, and um, we'll uh, do some work there. Um, get you uh, set up all the way. You know, those uh, set up for radios. We use a fairly generic. A setup procedure that uh, you know we wind up with a 3 dB dynamic range, which is a nice uh, transmit, nice fat uh, audio signal that does not uh, show any signs of processing. I think that's the thing we, you know, has uh, use uh, system uh, settings that are very transparent. Yet we arrive at uh, exactly where we want to be, and that is a 3 dB uh, transmit dynamic range. So go ahead, Jeff. Yes, the frequency is in use. Okay, back to you, Jim. I am on my home computer. It is C, and my treble is 
Yes, you can. Go ahead. I repeat your treble uh, adjustment. My treble is set to positive two, plus two. All right, uh, take that on up to plus four, that up to plus four, and uh, then uh, let me hear you. Okay, roger that. My treble is now set to plus four. Go ahead there, Jim. Roger, sounds nice. I think you got it there. I think we've, I think we've done uh, what we need to do there. You have a, a 3 dB dynamic range with a, a nice uh, edge to your audio and uh, articulation. You know, that is the name of the game. When you're in a pileup or when you're at the bottom of somebody's noise level, the clearer, cleaner that they can hear your audio, the better that uh, they can understand the words that you're saying. It's unfortunate that a, a lot of folks' audio is uh, not, does not have a, a very articulated signal so consequently when they get uh, distracted by any kind of noise or QRM or, or whatever uh, it's very difficult to hear what they're saying because it doesn't have that nice uh, defined uh, articulated top end. Roger. Roger that Jim. Roger that and I am talking across the microphone as you have instructed and as I said before my base is set to negative two. That's negative two on the base. Roger. Uh, now you could come up, uh, come up to uh, zero, uh, flat. Come up to flat on your bottom end, and let me hear you. Okay, I am at zero on the base. I'm at zero on the base, plus four on the treble. Go ahead. Sounds good. Now, I would, uh, when I got a chance, I would go ahead and get a windscreen, a foam windscreen for that mic. You know, the, today they're making those foam windscreens very short, like about uh, three inches. Uh, you know, instead of they used to make it, it would fit the whole microphone, you know. But now they're just making it for about three inches uh, long. And you can just slip that over, the, uh, over your hand mic there, and that will solve all of your problems. Now, what you need to do when you do that is take a little piece of um, uh, oh, uh, tape, a little, what, what is that white tape? I forget what it is, but masking tape, and just tape the, the, uh, the right side of the microphone, because sometimes, uh, you know, with that windscreen on there, you can't uh, tell exactly right off <laughs> you could be a, on the wrong end of the microphone, so just put a, a little piece of masking tape on the right side so you, you know you're on the right side of that mic, Roger. Oh, that makes good sense. It would be very easy to talk to the back of the mic. So am I getting too much wind noise as I'm talking right now, or is there something else I can do with the placement of the microphone? Go ahead. Uh, no, it's it's minimized from what it was, but occasionally there still is just a, a little bit. Now, now you can minimize that even further by um, pulling that mic back a little bit further on the side of your mouth and actually touching your lips on the side of your lips and talking across it that way. Roger. Roger. That will eliminate about 90% of the uh, transit uh, mouth noises. But if, if you really want to do the absolute best job, you know, just go down to your local music store and uh, get yourself a foam windscreen or two. They come in all kinds of colors. I think they're about three bucks a piece, so you could get five or six and have a different color for every day of the week if you wanted to but those little foam windscreens just absolutely break up the, any kind of turbulence uh, uh, that might be coming out from your voice or from your mouth uh, it, towards the uh, towards the microphone and they do not uh, interfere with the uh, frequency response of the microphone so it's just they're just amazing little devices Roger Roger, Jeff. Roger, Jeff. That that hand mic, incidentally, is a is just a beautiful work of art for a. Um
a stock hand mic for a radio. I mean, they really uh, went uh, overboard for that microphone. It just is so, so makes that radio sound so, so nice. And, you know, if uh, you wanted to replace that mic with a desk mic, it'd probably cost you about 250 bucks. You know, and uh, some uh, you would have to maybe do a steeper EQ curve to uh, just uh, come out even with where that hand mic uh, uh, is at the moment. Roger. Roger that. Roger that. Well, I'm looking forward to listening to the recording on Sunday and just see what this thing sounds like. And like I said, I go between two different antennas, two loops. I have a 40 meter and an 80 meter. And right now we are on the 80 meter loop. Go ahead. Roger, is, can you go to the 40 real quick and we can compare them? Just one moment, I will be right there. All right, I've got your level set for zero, and we just shall see if uh, the 40 meter loop is uh, hotter or not than the 80 meter loop. <laughs> Jeff, I don't know, was that you on the 40? I couldn't copy you. If that was you, sir, uh, go back to your 80-meter uh, loop. If that were you, uh, go back to the 80-meter loop. Roger, roger. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, the Friday afternoon kiss of Vlog Net. Right now we're uh, talking with uh, Jeff, uh, KM4MEJ, and we're uh, looking at the differences of uh, uh, radiation patterns between his 80 meter and his 40 meter loop antennas. Go ahead, Jeff. So, Jeff, I guess uh, maybe Mother Nature has just pulled the plug. It wasn't maybe your 40-meter antenna was in the mud after all. I, I'm not, if you went to back to your 80, I'm uh, not copying you at all, sir. Roger, Jeff. Roger, Jeff. Uh, yeah, you were, um, you were about, uh, well... When we ended our conversation right before you uh, went to switch to the 40 meter uh, loop, uh, you were uh, at uh, 6 dB above my noise level, and uh, then uh, you went to uh, zero, and I thought that was when you went to your 40, but uh, actually Mother Nature just pulled the plug. So um, anyway, uh, yeah, we'll be posting this sometime within the 48 hours from now. We always uh, try to give ourselves a little time in case uh, things uh, get real busy and we get backed up. Uh, so we want to always uh, be able to make our uh, commitments, so we say uh, 48 hours, two days uh, from today. And uh, we're trying something a little different now. If you uh, go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the date, 9-11-20, that uh, will get you probably as best uh, to this uh, recording as possible. Uh, YouTube uh, used to put our latest entries uh, right on page one, but now, th you know, sometimes, gosh, they're buried way, way down, you know, and uh, it takes uh, forever to get there. So uh, when you go looking uh, for today's recording, you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, 9-11-20, KC9, VKV, 9-11-20, and that should uh, bring up this recording, Roger. Roger that, Jim. Thank you very much. Okay, I will give the time back to someone else if you can work with someone else. Thank you so much. And Kilo Mike 4, Mike Echo Juliet 73. Roger, Jeff, just before you go, man, you're hot. <laughs> you're hot. Uh, give me a 15 on uh, something that uh, you like about that, uh, that 7300. Roger that. Uh, let's see. I just love about the, I would have to say the, uh, the waterfall display is just so nice. And watching the meters go across and the way things are working, this is a very, very good radio. I, uh, I, it's my first HF rig, and I'm very, very happy with this thing. I would buy another one in a heartbeat. Go ahead. Roger, sounds great. Yeah, get get your windscreen. Uh, I, I'm sure that uh, your local music store would would have uh, bunches. Uh, so just uh, get that foam windscreen, uh, and that'll solve every little problem. Roger. Roger that, Jim. Thank you so much. 
KM4NEJ73, and thank you so much. Roger, three set way, Jeff. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon Kiss of Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. 